Orthodox World this week, Orthodox News in the Digital Space. I'm your host, Emil Matthew Sarax, and let's see the latest updates from the Orthodox World. Delegation from St. Petersburg Theological Schools visits Egypt for academic collaboration. From now the 24th to December 4th, 2023, a delegation of teachers, staff, and students of St. Petersburg Theological Schools visited Egypt. The trip was part of the ongoing collaboration between the Russian Orthodox Church and the Coptic Orthodox Church and aimed to develop academic cooperation and make a pilgrimage to Asian Christian shrines. On November 30th, the delegation participated in the ceremonial act celebrating the 130th anniversary of the opening of the Coptic Theological Academy with His Holiness Pope Theodoros II. The delegation then visited the academy and held a joint seminar on the modern system of church education in Russia. The visit also included pilgrimage to several Coptic monasteries and churches, including the White Monastery, the Red Monastery, and the Hanging Church. The delegation returned to Russia on December 5th. This visit is a significant step forward in developing relationship between the Russian Orthodox Church and the Coptic Orthodox Church. It is hoped that the collaboration will continue to grow in the years to come. Russian and Coptic theological schools set to collaborate in multi-model program. During the meeting held on November 24th to December 4th in Egypt, with the blessing of His Holiness Patriarch Kirill of Moscow and all Russia, and His Holiness Patriarch Theodorus II of the Coptic Orthodox Church, in the field of cooperation between the Russian Orthodox Church and Coptic Orthodox theological schools, an agreement was reached to begin regular cooperation of church-wide graduate and doctoral studies with leading educational institutions of the Coptic Orthodox Church in 2024. The development of the mutual academic initiatives is planned on the basis of the joint Department of External Church Relations and the St. Cyril and Methodius Postgraduate and Doctoral Studies Institute courses, Asian Eastern Churches. Among the projects planned for the next year are the organization of meetings of teachers and students in Russia and Egypt across lectures and seminars, both in person and remotely, and the exchange of literary sources. Georgian Church hosts reception for diplomatic corps, discusses peace and European Union candidacy. On December 6, 2023, the Patriot of Georgia hosted a reception for the diplomatic corps operating in this country. Representatives of the diplomatic community were initially welcomed by the senior clergy members, including Metropolitan Chio. The reception culminated in a meeting with His Holiness Elias II, Catholicus Patriarch of all Georgia. Meeting individually with the Catholic Patriarch, each ambassador expressed their admiration for Georgia and its church. Notably, the European Union ambassador to Georgia, Mr. Pavel Hersinki, stated that the European Union family is incomplete without Georgia. He recognized the significance of Georgia's unique Christian culture and tradition, both for the country itself and for the border European space. He also expressed his gratitude to Catholicus Patri for his positive response to the recommendation for European Union candidate status. Ambassador of the European Union, representatives of the Vatican Embassy, United States of America, Great Britain, France, Germany, Poland, Bulgaria, Greece, Israel, Italy, Turkey, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Iran, Netherlands, Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia, Romania, China, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Malta, Japan, Czech Republic, Sweden, and Slovenia attended the meeting. The event signifies the strong relationship between the Georgian Church and the international community built on shared values and cooperation. UN Human Rights Monitoring Mission investigates violate conventionation in Cherisky, Ukraine. At the invitation of Metropolitan Theodosius of Cherisky, who holds the status of human rights defender cooperating with the United Nations, the UN Human Rights Monitoring Mission in Ukraine visited the city of Cherisky. The reason for the visit of the UN Monitoring Mission's delegation was the bloody seizure of convent in Cherisky by the militants in favor of the Orthodox Church of Ukraine on November 20, 2023, the video footage of which has spread worldwide. This information is reported by the Information and Education Department of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church with reference to the press service of the Cherensky Diocese. During their work in Cherensky, human rights advocates thoroughly 
communicated with the victims recording their testimony statements and medical documents regarding their injuries. Several victims were still in hospital after the maxillofacial surgeries at the time of the mission's visit. Many of the injured and the wounded believers testified on the condition of anatomy because given the incursion of law enforcement agencies when the rights of believers were violated they cannot feel safe today especially after the threats of their lives and health from the attackers on the monastery the officials of the missions were provided with a complete documentary based of the evidences of the crime of violence against orthodox ukrainian orthodox church believers as well as the video recording of the atrocities documents on the opening of criminal cases evidences of attempts by official bodies to nullify criminal consequences for the perpetrators on this crime patrick ilia ii celebrates european union candidacy as a path to brighter future in a historic address his holiness ilia ii kardulikos patrick of old georgia on december 15 2023 celebrated the country's newly acquired status as the candidate for membership in the european union highlighting the significance of this step the spiritual leader emphasized its potential to shisha it's a brighter future for georgia on multiple fronts today marks a special day because of receiving the status of candidate for european union membership opens up new opportunities for political stability within the country and raising the status in international relations ilia ii declared in his state he went on the highly the potential for cultural scientific and technical and economic progress that this new chapter holds the kadulikos patriarch expresses hope that the relationship between the georgia and european union would be mutually enriching noting that georgia could contribute its rich christian tradition and spiritual values to the european community He also commended the collective efforts of the current government, the Georgian people, and all those who work tirelessly to achieve candidate status, acknowledging their dedication since the country's independence. The great efforts of our current government, the determination of our people, and the hard work of many people have been invested in obtaining candidate status, Ilya II stated. Since the restoration of independence, all the authorities of Georgia have contributed to the construction on this road concluding in his address on a hopeful note the kadulikos patriarch offered blessings for georgia's future calling for unity peace and continued success he invoked the blessing of virgin mary expressing his faith in her guidance as the country embarks on its path towards european union membership the kadulikos patriarch statements resonates with sentiments of optimism and anticipation across georgia This moment's steps towards European Union membership has sparked hope for the brighter future, one where the country can flourish both economically and culturally while strengthening its ties with Europe. Malankara Orthodox Church monastic delegation featured on Russian state TV. Members of the monastic delegation from the Malankara Orthodox Church, Sister Dina and Sister Sheba from Bethlehem Convent were featured on the Russian state television channel Vesti Eurasia on December 7, 2023. The project is part of the initiative of the working group on the development of bilateral relationship between the Russian Orthodox Church and the Malankara Orthodox Church of India. With the blessing of His Holiness Patriarch Kirill of Moscow and all Russia, the delegation is residing for two months at the Holy Venesky Tologo Convent of the Eurasia Metropolis. That's all for the week. And we request you to subscribe our channel to get the instant notifications. Click the bell icon. Thank you for watching Arthur Rakshi Guru Nepeet. Hope to see you in the next week.